getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Caillou the patient. It was a beautiful day, and Caillou, Mummy, and Rosie were going to the park. Caillou was trying to decide which toy to take. I'm gonna take my airplane. Let's go! Oh, wait for us! Look at me, Mommy! My plane can fly really fast! I'm the fastest jet pilot in the whole wide world! Caillou, you're flying faster than anyone ever has before. Yahoo! Slow down, Caillou. You don't have your running shoes on. had scraped his knees, and they really, really hurt. Can you fall down? Ow, it hurts, Mommy! Ow, ow! Boo-boo! Oh, poor Caillou. <laughs> You'll be okay. Let's get you home so I can fix you up. You are my first patient today. I see you've had quite a tumble. So first I'll have to examine the wound and check for broken bones. Caillou thought it was funny that Mommy was pretending to be a doctor. Good. First we need to clean you up a bit. We'll have you back up in your plane in no time. Ouch! Ooh, it'll just take a second. Caillou tried to be brave, just like a real jet pilot would be. I know what my patient needs now. Nurse Rosie, could you please get me a cotton swab from that tin? Nurse Rosie! This will keep the wound clean so it will heal quickly. Now we need something else. Do you know what that is, Nurse Rosie? Aha! Uh -huh, exactly! Now, how about a tall glass of special Get Better juice? Ouchie! That's going to be a little sore for a while. How about I give you a plane ride? Rosie, you can be my co-pilot. You go ahead and show me the way. <laughs> there you go. I gave you a window seat in your very own airplane. Caillou's knees still hurt a little, but he really liked his new bandages. Caillou! Boo-boo airplane! Well... You must be a very special passenger on this flight. Only special passengers get a cookie. Thank you. Caillou thought his knees felt a little better. He wanted to see if they would hurt when he walked. Try to catch me, Billy! <laughs> Leo! There's Clement 
time at Billy, and I saw Leo, too. I think they're going to the park. Are my patient's knees working all right? Why don't you try a couple of steps around the living room? Oops, I mean the airplane. Caillou thought his knees felt much better now. Not he make better. <laughs> I'm Pilot Caillou, and we're taking off on a flight to the park. Well, your landing gear seems to be in fine working order. Let me check with my co-pilot. Rosie, can we land at the park? Park! The park it is, and I've got just the thing that a pilot and co-pilot need for a successful flight to the park. <laughs> Mommy, I'm a good pilot. <laughs> yes, that's why you've got your wings badge. And what do all good pilots wear when they want to run? Running shoes! Right. Clementine, Leo! Caillou, what happened to your plane? I had a crash landing. See? Ooh. And when I got all better, Mommy gave me my pilot's wings. Cool. You sure are brave, Caillou. Does it still hurt? It did at first, but not anymore. <laughs> Rosie co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> be the doctor. First, I have to examine the wound. That's your boo-boo. <laughs> Next, we have to clean the wound. All clean. Now let's see if everything works. <laughs> You're all better. Thanks, Dr. Caillou. Is everyone ready for takeoff? Yeah! yeah. Start your engines! Caillou, the police officer. One day, Caillou and Mommy were on their way to play school. And Caillou was helping Mommy drive. That means turn, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. Red light, Mommy. That means stop. Right you are, Caillou. Green means go. The lights aren't on. They must be broken. And those workers are going to fix them. What's the policeman doing? He's showing the cars when to stop and when to go, since the lights can't do it. Now they have to stop. And we can go. Don't you want to play with the others, Caillou? Uh-uh. I'm watching the policeman directing traffic. Oh, I see. I thought policemen just caught bad guys. Oh, no. They help people in lots of other ways. Really? Oh, yes. They make sure that people drive their cars safely so no one gets hurt. They can help drivers who are lost find where they're going. And if any children are lost, they can help them find their way home again. Wow! Caillou decided he'd like to help people, like police officers do.
looks like a job for police officer Caillou. <laughs> don't cry. Did you lose your mommy and daddy? Well, don't worry. We'll find them. Over here! All in a day's work. Officer Caillou, we need you at Main Street and 10th. I'm on my way. Caillou wanted to help people but he especially wanted to direct traffic. And he knew just what he needed for that. playing a game before you came along. You know you can only help people when they want some help. And that whistle is very loud. You must be more careful and not blow it in anybody's ear or it could hurt them. Okay. Why are you chasing Leo? He's a bad guy. He just robbed the bank. A bad guy? Well, I'm a policeman. Gotcha. <laughs> Now he's going to put you in jail. Yeah, come on, bank robber. How long do I have to stay in here? A hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> Children. Okay, you can come out if you promise you won't do it again. I promise. That afternoon, Caillou helped clean up after snack time. Since it's such a nice day, why don't we have story time outside? All right! right. The workers had finished fixing the traffic lights. Caillou wondered where the policeman was. The police officer looked very hot. Caillou thought he might be thirsty. Caillou? Miss Martin, can I give some juice to the policeman? That's a very good idea, Caillou. Go ahead. Hello, would you like some juice? Hello there. Yes, please. It sure is hot out here. Thank you. Why did you give that car a ticket? Because it's not supposed to be here. It's blocking the fire hydrant. And if there was a fire, the firefighters wouldn't be able to hook up their hoses. That's another way you help people. Hmm. Where's your police car? I don't have one. I have this. A bike? You ride a bike just like I do? That's right. Thanks for the drink, uh... My name is Caillou. Well, thank you very much, Caillou. It was very nice to meet you. Now, I think you'd better join your friends. Looks like you're missing out on a story. Oops, I gotta go. Bye! Caillou was glad he'd made a new friend. And he couldn't wait to go home and tell Mommy and Daddy that he had helped a police officer. A helping hand. Caillou, there are people who help us every day, like doctors, police officers, firefighters, and teachers. But you know what? We can also help each other. 
If someone has a problem and things aren't so grand, just reach out, do the best you can. Give them a helping hand. Just give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. Give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. It's neighbors helping neighbors. A friend helping a friend. You help me. And I'll help you. Then, then we, we both win, win in the end. end. Just, Just give, give them a hand, hand. Give, give them, them a hand, give them a helping hand. Give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. Caillou, I've got to move this box. Can you help me? Sure, Grandpa. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Grandpa's friend. Caillou was waiting for his grandpa to arrive. They were going to the park today. Grandpa! Caillou and Grandpa decided to ride the bus to the park. Don't you have to pay, Grandpa? Nope. I have a bus pass to ride free, just like you. Caillou loved riding the bus. It was so big, and there were new people getting on or off at every stop. Caillou had never seen this park before. He couldn't see any swings or slides. He wondered what they could play in a park like this. Hey, kid. My name's Caillou. <laughs> this is my friend George. He calls me kid because he's older than I am. I met your grandpa many, many years ago in this very park. He was only about this tall back then. <laughs> Even Rosie's bigger than that. Come on. I just finished setting up. I hope you like riddles, Caillou. What are these for? We're going to play croquet. You and I can be a team. Caillou didn't know how to play croquet, and he was too embarrassed to ask. He felt a little shy around Grandpa's friend, George. Hey, Caillou, do you like riddles? Oh, here we go. What animal can jump higher than a house? Any animal. Houses can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I know a riddle. What kind of fish chases a mouse? A catfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Would you like an apple, Caillou? This is Rexy. He's a dinosaur. Caillou didn't feel so shy after all. He thought Grandpa's friend was a lot like his friends, only older. After lunch, they began their game of croquet. Grandpa showed Caillou what to do. Just aim the mallet and tap the ball. Caillou wondered how far he could hit the ball if he swung really, really hard. Just tap it. We don't want to send it all the way to Timbuktu. I missed. Oh, that's okay. You can do it over. Special beginner's rule. Hmm? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good, Caillou. You're a natural.
I think there's something wrong with your ball. I think so, too. Hey, this isn't my ball. It's an apple. <laughs> oh, you're just like your grandpa. He was always playing tricks on me when he was little. Caillou loved the idea that he and Grandpa were alike. But he still couldn't imagine Grandpa as a little boy. Still, I did tap your ball. My play. <laughs> there it goes, kid. Right into the pond again. <laughs> we lost our ball. That's okay. We can get it back. Come on. Why did George say it fell in the pond again? He was talking about the first time we ever played croquet together. Boy, that takes me back. It was right here in this park. I must have been about 10 years old and about <laughs> this tall. I knocked my ball too hard and it bounced all the way into the pond. <laughs> Just like our ball, Grandpa. Yep. When I tried to get it back, I lost my balance and fell in the pond. Maybe you wanted to go swimming, but you just didn't know it. <laughs> I never thought of that. Maybe I did. George said Caillou was just like Grandpa. But now Caillou thought Grandpa was just like him, too. Yay! That means we can keep playing. <laughs> That's right, Caillou. We found our ball! The kid didn't fall in again, did he? All you have to do to win is knock the ball through the last hoop and try to hit that wooden pin. Very impressive, Caillou. Are you sure you've never played croquet before? Nope. I won. Oh, that was a close game. I thought for sure you'd beat me, Caillou. I like croquet. It's fun. Soon, it was time to go back home. Caillou goes caroling. Christmas was only a week away, and it was a beautiful snowy day. Caillou loved playing in the snow, especially building snowmen. Look at my snowman, Daddy. Good work, Caillou. Why don't you ask Mommy for a carrot for his nose? Hmm. Mommy, may I have a carrot, please? Are you hungry already? We just had lunch. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for my snowman. Oh, is he hungry? No, <laughs> it's for his nose. Oh, of course. I'll get one. <laughs> mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, honey, mommy's got a lot of things to do. I can't hold you right now. <laughs> you can come out and make snowmen with me, Rosie. No. Rosie's not in a very good mood because she didn't have her nap. Did you, sweetie? It's okay, Caillou. Why don't you go put the nose on your snowman and then come back inside? But I was going to make more snowmen. A whole snow family. You can make them tomorrow. Grandma and Grandpa are coming over so we can practice before we go caroling tonight. What's caroling? It's when you go visit your friends and sing Christmas carols for them. It's fun. Caillou didn't think caroling sounded like much fun. He'd rather stay home and play in the snow. Hello, Caillou. Oh, hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Someone's lost his nose. Is it yours? <laughs> no. Well, then, it must belong to this fine-looking fellow. A perfect fit. How 
How's my little Rosie today? <laughs> so, what'll we be singing today? We three kings? Hark the Herald Angels? Good King Wenceslas? Caillou wanted to sing with the grown-ups, but he didn't know any of those songs. Let's start with something everybody knows. How about Jingle Bells? I know that one. We sang it at play school. Which reminds me, I brought something along. Here they are. Would you like to play the Jingle Bells, Caillou? And... Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle all, all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Yay! Caillou decided that going caroling might be fun after all. And he especially liked playing the jingle bells. After dinner, they were ready to go caroling. Rosie, you've got to wear your hat or your head will get cold. You need your mittens too, sweetie. No! We're going caroling, Rosie. It'll be fun. Bells! No, Caillou has the bells, honey. Here, Rosie, you can have them. <laughs> Thank you, Caillou. That was a very nice thing to do. Very Christmassy. Their first stop was at Sarah's house, right next door. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Caillou decided he liked caroling. He liked surprising people. And singing was a lot of fun. Caillou also liked staying up past his bedtime. And he especially liked looking at all the pretty Christmas lights on the houses. They went to lots of houses to sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And sometimes they got a special treat. Their last stop was the seniors' home. Caillou had been there lots of times with his grandma. He wanted to include Mrs. Wilson, one of his friends. I'll be right back. Don't start without me. Caillou, what a surprise. We're singing carols in the big room. I can drive you there. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A 
play school party. Caillou was very excited. There was going to be a party at play school today because it was the last day before the winter holidays. Is Miss Martin's present in the bag, Mommy? Yes, Caillou. You've asked me three times already this morning. Can you check again, just to make sure? It's here, all right, and I'm sure Miss Martin will love it. Did you put in my stocking? We're supposed to bring Christmas things for show and tell. You mean holiday things. Your friends celebrate many different holidays at this time of year. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I hope everyone likes my stocking. I'm sure they will. Let's go! Look, Mommy! Reindeer! And look over there! Leo's got one of those at his house. That's right. Jewish people put those up to celebrate Hanukkah. Do you remember what it's called? Hmm... Leo told me, but I forget. I'm going to ask him when I get to school. Good idea. Thank you very much, Caillou. You're welcome. Merry Christmas! That smells good! Xavier has brought burritos for everyone. That's his favorite holiday meal. This is going to be a yummy day. I brought dessert for everyone, but it's a surprise. Oh, wow! Hi, Caillou. What's that called again? I forget. It's a menorah. Hmm. Is that corn? Yup. It's Muhindi for Kwanzaa. Muhindi. Kwanzaa is the holiday that Clementine and her family celebrate. Nice Christmas tree. Thanks, Clementine. And those are nice, hmm, muhindi. Children. All right, everyone, let's start our show and tell. Yay! This is a dreidel. It's for a game we play during Hanukkah. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I shall play. Who wants to try? Leo showed me how to play at his house. Caillou was very proud that he knew how to spin the dreidel. Look, I'm a dreidel too! <laughs> The children got a chance to talk about things they did during their winter holidays. Clementine brought a mat called a makika. Her family put things on it to remind them of their relatives during Kwanzaa. I always put out this picture of my grandpa because that's me he's holding when I was just a baby. Emma brought in her favorite Christmas tree decoration. A beautiful angel. Jason and Jeffrey's family decorate their tree with popcorn. Only sometimes there isn't enough popcorn because the twins keep eating it. Finally, it was Caillou's turn. On Christmas Eve, I hang up my stocking, and when I'm sleeping, Santa Claus comes and fills it with treats. And I brought treats for everyone. Gumdrops. Yay! At lunch, the children shared the different foods they had brought. Lee Wun brought chopsticks, and everyone tried to use them. 
thank you all for bringing food today. We even have dessert. Look, I did it! I used my chopsticks! Do you want some of my grandma's fruitcake? Mmm! Do you want one of my banana squares? My dad made them! Sure! Mmm! Yummy! Mmm! <laughs> still yummy! <laughs> All the children tried to use the chopsticks. It was harder than it looked. <laughs> After lunch, they all went outside to play. Let's Yay! build a snow fort. Did you have fun today, Caillou? Yeah! We had the best party ever! I love the winter holidays. All of them. Make each day special. Make each day special. Make each day great. Make each day special. It's never too late. Not just on birthdays or when holidays near. Make each day special all through the year. Every day we should give. Every day we should share. Every day we should help. Every day we should care. Make each day special. Set your goals high. Just follow your dreams. Be willing to try. In winter or summer, spring or the fall. Make each day special, if you're big or you're small. So make each day special, there's lots you can do. Yes, make each day special, cause you are special too. Caillou's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was one of Caillou's favorite times, and his favorite smell on this special day was that of freshly baked Christmas cookies. Ah. That looks like a lot of cookies for one little boy. They're not all for me, Mommy. I'm giving two to Rosie. All right, then. Just remember to leave some for Daddy. He likes Christmas cookies, too. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, Christmas cookies! Cookies! No, Gilbert! That's my present for Rosie! Rosie present? Uh-huh. Daddy helped me wrap it. Pretty ribbon! No, Rosie! You can't open it yet. Do you know who puts all these presents under the tree? <gasps> Rosie family! Right, and who else brings us presents at Christmas time? <gasps> Santa! Yeah, and he's coming tonight! It had been a whole year since last Christmas. And Caillou was a much bigger boy than he was then. He wondered if Santa would bring bigger presents to bigger boys 
like him. <laughs> Funny how these ornaments keep falling off the tree. I wonder why that is. Mm. When can we open our presents, Daddy? Tomorrow morning when it's Christmas Day. Can't I open one now? You have to wait until Santa comes and leaves his gifts, too. When will that be? When it's dark and you're fast asleep, Caillou. When it's dark? Christmas cookies, my favorite. Thank you. Daddy, Daddy, it's dark. Now can Santa come? It has to be nighttime dark, sweetie. But don't worry, it'll be nighttime soon. Caillou was impatient. He wanted it to be nighttime right now. No, Daddy! Those cookies are for Santa. Hmm, and the glass of milk, of course. How silly of me. Are you getting something else for Santa? Not for Santa, Mommy. For the reindeer. Oh, how thoughtful. Well, Caillou, I think it's nighttime dark now. Yay! It's bedtime! Santa's coming! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> going to stay up all night so I can see Santa. But Santa won't bring your presents if you're not asleep. Sleep tight, Caillou. Mm. Sweet dreams. Caillou had an idea. If he stayed up all night and pretended to be asleep, then he would be able to see Santa. Nothing in my stocking. That means Santa hasn't come yet. I'm gonna stay awake and watch for him. And you can stay awake with me, Gilbert. Caillou pretended to be asleep, but he was really listening carefully for Santa. Only it was taking a long time. was beginning to wonder what was taking Santa so long. Then he remembered that on Christmas Eve, Santa had to deliver presents to all the children in the whole world. If only Santa had a helper. Maybe he'd be able to deliver his presents faster. Oh, my, it's hard to see where you are when it's snowing so much. Where are we, little helper? We're over my street, Santa. Who well, are we now? Well, Jason and Jeffrey are next on my list. Do you know where they live? There, Santa. That's their house right down there. Splendid. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness you're with me tonight, Caillou. Without your help, I'd be completely lost. <laughs> I bet I could help, Santa. Hmm. It was so warm under the covers that it was hard for Caillou to stay awake. Caillou decided to close his eyes just for a minute. Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas, Caillou! Ho, 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 ho! Before long, it was morning, Christmas morning. So he did! And look! Presents! <laughs> we told you Santa would come if you went to sleep. He did! He did! Can I open them now, please? Grandma! Grandpa! Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! 
everybody. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Caillou. Caillou. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Caillou. Caillou. Caillou's Valentines. One fine morning, Mommy made Caillou and Rosie an extra special breakfast. Here you go. Enjoy. Thanks, Mommy. Look, Rosie, hearts. That's right, Caillou. It's a very special day today. <laughs> oh, thank you. They're beautiful. Is it your birthday, Mommy? <laughs> no, Caillou. It's Valentine's Day. Caillou remembered Valentine's Day. He had gone to a Valentine's party last year at Leo's. It's the day when people tell others how much they care about them. But you tell Mommy that all the time. <laughs> yes, but sometimes it's nice to show it, too, with flowers or a card. We have something for you and Rosie, too. Ah! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Now you each have your very own Valentine. Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Sticky. <laughs> Caillou liked his stickers very much, but he was curious about the little boy with the arrow. Who's this, Daddy? That's Cupid. It's his job to fly around delivering love to people using his bow and arrow. Perhaps we had better put away the stickers for now and finish our breakfast. <laughs> Good idea. And Caillou, you don't want to be late for play school. I hear Miss Martin has a special Valentine's Day planned. She does? Oh, boy! Can anyone tell me what today is? Yes, Caillou? It's Valentine's Day! That's right. And today we're going to make special Valentine's cards for all our play school friends. Yay! You'll all get to decorate some cards so you can give one to each of your playmates. When we're all done, we'll deliver them to these mailboxes. And then everyone can take theirs home with them. Caillou was having a lot of fun making Valentine cards. He wished every day could be Valentine's Day. Mine is for my very best friend. Hey, mine too! Nice picture, Leo. Hmm... Suddenly, Caillou's Valentine didn't seem quite so special anymore. And I really like yours. Thanks! Knowing Leo liked the Valentine made Caillou feel much better, especially since the Valentine was for him. Wonderful. When you're all finished, we can start delivering them. I'm done. Me too. One for Emma. Now Leo's mailbox. And you're done. Good job. It's your turn, Caillou. Do you need any help? No, thanks, Miss Martin. I can do it myself. Happy Valentine's Day, Clementine!
Leo's was the very last mailbox, and Caillou had run out of cards. He couldn't find the card he'd made for Leo anywhere. Is something the matter, Caillou? I can't find Leo's valentine. I think I lost it. Oh, dear. Tell you what, why don't we have our snack now, and while the class is eating, you can have a look for it. But what if I can't find it? Leo is my best friend. I have to give him a valentine. We could always make him another one. Yeah, can you help me, Miss Martin? Of course I can. Let me get the class seated for their snack, and we'll work together on it. Miss Martin had special Valentine's cookies for everyone. But Caillou was too busy to eat. That's beautiful, Caillou. Thanks, but I still want to add something else. Sure, I can help you with that. L for Leo. I'm sure he'll love it. Open yours, Leo. One's from me. Do you like it? Yeah. L for Leo. Thanks, Caillou. Happy Valentine's Day, Leo. Happy Valentine's Day, Caillou. Hello, Spring. Winter was almost over. Spring was on its way and the snow was melting. Caillou's snowman was starting to melt, too. Hmm. Caillou decided to fix him up again. You look much better now, Mr. Snowman. Caillou, it's lunchtime. Coming! I'll be back after lunch. After lunch, Caillou was ready to play in the snow some more. But there was a big surprise waiting for him. Oh, no! Caillou was sad about all the snow melting. He really liked playing in it. Sweetheart, what's wrong? My snowman melted. The snow is almost all gone. That's too bad, honey. But you know what that means? Spring is coming. I don't like spring. I like winter. Oh, but there are lots of nice things about springtime. The weather is warmer. The days are longer. The flowers start coming up. Pretty flowers! Hmm. Why don't you take off your coat, honey? I'm putting away all our winter clothes. We won't be needing them again until next winter. But Caillou didn't want to put his coat away. He didn't want winter to be over. No, I'm gonna play in the snow some more. Thanks, sweetie. The sunshine was nice and warm. It felt good. What's up, Sport? My snowman melted. All the snow is melting. That's what happens when springtime comes. I don't want spring to come. I want it to be winter all year. Oh, spring's not so bad. Can you give me a hand and hold the bag? Sure. The 
leaves are yucky. Yep. That's why I'm cleaning the place up so it looks nice. And in a few weeks, we can plant flowers. Can we plant the vegetable garden too? You bet. Caillou remembered how much fun it was to plant vegetables last year. He was looking forward to doing it again. Are you putting them in the garbage? This isn't a garbage can. It's a composter. We put old leaves and plants and bits of food in here. And after a while, it turns into nice dirt we can put in the garden to help the plants grow. Caillou was very surprised. <laughs> he thought the leaves turning into dirt was just like magic. Now that I'm all done, why don't you and I go for a walk? We could go to the park. Yeah! Only, let's get you a lighter jacket. You don't need your big winter coat anymore. So Caillou put on his spring jacket and he went with Daddy to the park. It felt good not to wear his thick winter coat and his mittens and his big scarf anymore. Look! That's a robin! Right! I didn't know you were a bird expert. Robins have red tummies. We learned that in play school. He's looking for worms to eat. Worms? Mmm, yummy! Daddy! <laughs> Canada geese! Miss Morton says that all the birds that went away for the winter come back again in the spring. That's right. And the animals that sleep through the winter wake up. Like bears! You bet. Caillou was glad the birds were coming back and the animals were waking up. The snow spawned from the sandbox! Whee! Caillou liked playing in the sandbox. He started thinking of all the other things he could do now that the snow was gone. right after spring, right, Daddy? Yep. Summer, then fall, and after that, it'll be winter again. I like spring. Me too. When they arrived back home, there was another spring surprise waiting for Caillou. Caillou remembered how much Rosie and Mummy liked pretty flowers. Mommy, Rosie, come quick! they pretty? Those are called crocuses. They're the first flowers of spring. Good work, Caillou. Caillou was very proud to have spotted the first flowers of spring. I'm glad spring is here. Now I can ride my bike and play soccer and play in the sandbox and go on the slide and the swings and play baseball and go swimming and play croquet. It's spring. It's spring, it's spring, we're really glad it's spring. The flowers grow, there's no more snow, we're really glad it's spring. It's spring, it's spring, it's time to laugh and sing. Let's go outside, I'll run you high. We're really glad it's spring. There's fun things we can do, a treasure. 
I use April Fool. One morning at breakfast, Daddy did something funny. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm playing a little joke on Mommy. already? I was sure it was eight. That is strange. <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> Daddy changed the clocks. It's only eight o'clock, not nine. Oh, <laughs> that was a good April Fools joke. You really had me going. Mommy, what is April Fools? Today is April Fools Day. It's a special day when you play funny jokes and tricks on people. As long as they're in good fun and don't hurt anybody's feelings. Can I play jokes too? <laughs> of course you can. But that also means that someone can play a joke on you. Well, I better get started planting the spring bulbs. What are spring bulbs? They're big flower seeds that will only grow in the springtime. So in about a month, we'll have beautiful flowers in our yard. I'm gonna get you back. You can always try. Caillou wanted to play an April Fool's trick on Rosie, but he didn't know what kind of a joke would make her smile. Then Caillou had a great idea. Something he was sure would make Rosie laugh. <laughs> Rosie will be so surprised. <laughs> Quick, Gilbert, we have to hide. <laughs> April Fools, Rosie. Dolly wrong. Yeah, I dressed your dolly. It's a joke. Caillou play Dolly? Okay, I'll play Dolly with you. Caillou was disappointed that Rosie didn't laugh at his trick. Caillou, there's a phone call for you. Coming. Hello? Roar! Who is it, Caillou? I, I don't know. It sounds like a... a dinosaur! April Fool! Roar! <laughs> that was a good joke, Mommy. Now it's your turn to play a joke on me. Okay. Caillou wanted to think up a really good joke to play on Mommy. Yikes! <laughs> oh. April Fools! <laughs> then Caillou had an even better idea for tricking Mommy. That's strange. I know my slippers are around here somewhere. Hi, Caillou. 
What are you up to? I'm playing a joke on Mommy. Don't tell her, okay? I won't. I promise. No, Gilbert, don't! Oh, Caillou, you found my slippers. Thank you. I've been looking all over for them. Nice try, Caillou. Hey! Every other page in this newspaper is upside down. April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Caillou was determined to play a good joke on someone today. Then he had a very good idea. Oh, my! April Fools! <laughs> did I trick you? You sure did. For a moment there, I thought a real dinosaur was in our fridge. <laughs> That's silly. Now I want to trick Daddy. Can you help me, Mommy? Sure, I'll help you. What do you have in mind? Daddy, Daddy, come quick! Your flowers have already grown big. You didn't have to wait. Wow, those must have been magic bulbs. April Fools! Hey, those aren't real flowers. They're plastic. Caillou, you tricked me. Yeah, and I tricked Gilbert, too. April Fools, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> A sweet and sour day. Caillou was on his way to Grandma and Grandpa's house, and he was very eager to get there. Hello, Caillou. Huh? Hi, Grandma. Hi, we're here. Look at my new truck. Isn't that nice? I'll be back in a little while to pick you up. Have fun. Bye-bye. I'm doing some work in the garden. Would you like to help me? I think these flowers could use a drink. I can water them. Thank you. Ooh -hoo. <laughs> Caillou liked helping Grandma. It made him feel like a big boy. pretended he was driving a big water truck. Looks like you need a drink. to use the bird bath. Why didn't he want to take a bath? I think I know why. There's no water. Can I put some water in? There's no water left. You can fill it up at the faucet over there. Caillou 
was afraid he had broken the faucet, and he didn't know what to do. Grandma, help! <gasps> oh, dear. I haven't gotten around to fixing that. It falls off all the time. There you go. Caillou was determined to carry the water all by himself. We head inside for a snack and dry those feet off. I can't find the juice, Grandma. Oh, dear. Looks like we're out. Why don't we make our own juice? Caillou was very curious. He had never made juice before. Grapefruit and lemons. Perfect. <gasps> They're cold. Can we use oranges, too? Absolutely. First, I'll cut the fruit in half. One, two lemons. One, two oranges. And one, two grapefruits. Thank you, my assistant. <laughs> it's easy to remember what color oranges are because oranges are orange. <laughs> That's right. Mmm, yummy. I like orange juice. Ew. Grapefruit juice isn't as sweet as orange juice, is it? Nope. Now you're making lemonade. I love lemonade. Ew. It doesn't taste very good. It's really sour, isn't it? It's not ready to drink until we put in the secret ingredient. Then it'll be delicious. Here, why don't you try making some juice? Caillou and Grandma worked very hard and squeezed juice out of all the fruit. I'm finished, Grandma. Good job, Caillou. Now it's time for the final secret ingredient. What is it? Here, close your eyes. Can you guess what it is? Caillou was worried that it would taste sour, like the lemon juice did. It's sugar. That's right. We can make the sour juice sweet by adding just a little sugar. Do you want to put it in? Now give it a stir. Hello, I'm back. Surprise! I made juice with Grandma. Want some? Oh, yes, please. Caillou was a big help in the garden. He watered all my flowers and filled the bird bath. You've certainly been busy. Mmm, this tastes great. It's made with orange juice, grapefruit juice, lemon juice, and a secret ingredient, sugar. Close your eyes, I have another surprise. Okay, you can look now. <laughs> Caillou's Puppet Show One morning at play school, Caillou and his friends were having fun doing crafts. Caillou was making a finger puppet, but he wasn't the only one with that idea. Hi, Caillou! <laughs> Jason, <laughs> I like your puppet. The spots were by accident. Jeffrey kept bumping me while I was drawing the face. It has spots, like a cow. Yeah, it's a cow puppet. Moo! You can be the cow, and I'll be the farmer. Come on, Mr. Cow. It's bedtime. Time to go in the barn. Can I play? 
play too? We're playing farm. You can be a cow too. No, I'm gonna be a chicken. Buck, 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 buck. Would you like some food, Mr. Chicken? Buck, 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 buck. What wonderful puppets. You should put on a puppet show for everybody tomorrow. Yeah! yeah. And you can use the puppet theater. Wow! Let's do it right now! <laughs> hmm. It's time to go home right now. You can do it tomorrow. I'm gonna show Rosie my puppet! Wait, Caillou. Rosie isn't feeling very well. Hi, Rosie. Rosie? Are you feeling sick, Rosie? Rosie's sick! <laughs> Rosie's sick with the flu. The flu? No, the flu. It's short for influenza. She's got to stay in bed for a few days, but she'll be better soon. Here you go, sweetie. Poor Rosie's got a fever. Sometimes when you're sick, you feel hot. That's called a fever. <coughs> You'll have to stay out of Rosie's room until she's well again, or you might catch the flu too, all right? Okay, Mommy. Caillou felt sorry for Rosie. He didn't want to get sick too, so he stayed out of her room for the rest of the day. The next morning, Caillou woke up feeling kind of funny. He felt achy. <coughs> Caillou felt hot and was coughing, and he knew what that meant. He had the flu. <coughs> Just like Rosie. Caillou knew Mummy would make him stay home from play school if she found out he was sick. And today was the puppet show day. He didn't want to miss the puppet show. Caillou had to make sure Mommy didn't know he had the flu. Good morning, Caillou. How are you today? Good. I feel good. Hmm. <coughs> Feels like a fever to me. You'd better go back to bed, sweetie. You've got the flu. But I have to go to play school. We're having a puppet show. If you go to play school with the flu, you'll make all your friends sick, too. And you don't want that, do you? No. Now, go up to your room and I'll bring you some juice. Caillou stayed in bed all morning. He wondered what his friends were doing at play school today. They were probably having more fun than he was. Are you sick? Yup. Want to see a puppet show, Rosie? Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> this is Farmer Caillou, and he lives on a farm with lots of animals.
I think you should take a look out your window, Caillou. Your friends all want you to get well soon. Hi! And Jason and Jeffrey still want to put on that puppet show. Caillou was confused. How could they have their puppet show when he was sick? So Caillou and the twins had their puppet show just as they had planned, even though Caillou was sick. Happy day! It's a 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 happy day. I feel okay and it's, it's a happy day! day. Collection. Caillou and his family were on a picnic in the park. Caillou was having great fun playing in a stream when he spotted something very special. Wow, treasure! More treasure! Come on, Caillou. Time to go home. Caillou didn't want to leave his newfound treasure behind. Let's go, Caillou. My pockets aren't big enough. Caillou thought of a perfect way to get all his stones back home. This basket seems a lot heavier than when we left. Oh, that's because I put all my stones in there. Well, that explains it. That one's the shiniest. I think it's pirate's treasure. Shiny rock! I think it's bath time for you, sweetie. We'll make you clean and shiny, too. <laughs> Caillou, you're up next, okay? Okay. That's quite a collection you've got there. A collection? Uh-huh. A collection is when you gather a whole bunch of interesting similar things and organize them, like my stamp collection. I don't think the kitchen table is the right place for your collection, Caillou. You'd better find somewhere else to put your rocks. So Caillou gathered up his rocks and went to find the perfect place for his collection. Good night, sweetie. What's this? You've got rocks under your pillow. Daddy told me to find a good place for my rock collection. <laughs> I don't think your bed is such a good place for your rocks. Can you think of somewhere else to put them? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. All done! Good. Now you can help me change the sheets on your bed. <laughs> the white ones go here, 
And the black ones go here. Hello, all. The next day, they had a surprise visitor. Hi, Grandpa. Look, I have a rock collection. Well, look at that. Very impressive. I've got lots of rocks, too, in my yard. Only they're really big. Really? You bet. I'm making a path with them. But I have to go out and get some more. I could use a rock expert like you. Would you like to come along? Mm hmm Yeah! Grandpa took Caillou to a quarry. A place where big people go to find big rocks. Wow! Red rocks! White rocks! <gasps> Invisible rocks! rock is bigger than I am. It sure is. And look over there. <gasps> These must be the biggest rocks in the world. Would you like to see how they break big rocks into small ones? Yeah. Caillou was very excited to watch the man breaking up rocks. He imagined what it would be like to do that himself. to pick one out for your collection? Yes, please. This is my most favorite rock ever. Because it's brand new? Nope, because it's smiling. Look. My goodness, so it is. Oh, you have a talent for spotting special rocks, Caillou. Caillou had such a fun time today with Grandpa that he wanted to thank him. You can have it, Grandpa. It's a present. Well, thank you. I'm going to add this to my rock garden. <laughs> Grandpa, rocks don't grow in gardens. Oh, no? Come on, I'll show you. This is a rock garden. Now, rocks don't grow in it, but it does look nice, don't you think? Perfect. Then Caillou had a great idea about what he should do with his rock collection. Look! Grandpa and I made a path! <gasps> Very nice! Such lovely stones! But that's not all! Come on! See? We made a rock garden! Wow, it's great. One of the nicest I've ever seen. Thanks, Rosie. Now my rock garden will grow big and strong. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning. Changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough.
you the patient. It was a beautiful day, and Caillou, Mummy, and Rosie were going to the park. Caillou was trying to decide which toy to take. I'm gonna take my airplane. Let's go! Oh, wait for us! Look at me, Mommy! My plane can fly really fast! I'm the fastest jet pilot in the whole wide world! Caillou, you're flying faster than anyone ever has before. Yahoo! Slow down, Caillou. You don't have your running shoes on. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Caillou. Are you all right? Caillou had scraped his knees, and they really, really hurt. Caillou fell down. Ow, it hurts, Mommy. Ow, ow. Fufu. Oh, poor Caillou. <laughs> You'll be okay. Let's get you home so I can fix you up. my first patient today. I see you've had quite a tumble. So first I'll have to examine the wound and check for broken bones. Caillou thought it was funny that Mommy was pretending to be a doctor. Good. First we need to clean you up a bit. We'll have you back up in your plane in no time. Ouch! Ooh. It'll just take a second. Caillou tried to be brave, just like a real jet pilot would be. I know what my patient needs now. Nurse Rosie, could you please get me a cotton swab from that tin? Nurse Rosie! This will keep the wound clean so it will heal quickly. Now we need something else. Do you know what that is, Nurse Rosie? Aha! Uh -huh, exactly! Now, how about a tall glass of special Get Better juice? Ouchie! That's going to be a little sore for a while. How about I give you a plane ride? Rosie, too! Rosie? You can be my co-pilot. You go ahead and show me the way. <laughs> there you go. I gave you a window seat in your very own airplane. Caillou's knees still hurt a little, but he really liked his new bandages. Caillou! Fufu airplane! Well... You must be a very special passenger on this flight. Only special passengers get a cookie. Thank you. Caillou thought his knees felt a little better. He wanted to see if they would hurt when he walked. Try to catch me, Billy! <laughs> Leo! There's Clementine and Billy, and I saw Leo too. I think they're going to the park. Are my patient's knees working all right? Why don't you try a couple of steps around the living room? Oops, I mean the airplane. Caillou thought his knees felt much better now. Rosie, make better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pilot Caillou, and we're taking off on a flight to the park. Well, your landing gear seems to be in fine working order. Let me check with my co-pilot. Rosie, 
Can we land at the park? Park! The park it is. And I've got just the thing that a pilot and co-pilot need for a successful flight to the park. Look, Mommy, I'm a good pilot. <laughs> yes, that's why you've got your wings badge. And what do all good pilots wear when they want to run? Running shoes! Right. Clementine, Leo! Caillou, what happened to your plane? I had a crash landing. See? Ooh. And when I got all better, Mommy gave me my pilot's wings. Cool! You sure are brave, Caillou. Does it still hurt? It did at first, but not anymore. <laughs> Rosie co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly the fastest. Try to catch me. Whoa! whoa. Uh. Are you all right, Leo? Yep. I'm going to be the doctor. First, I have to examine the wound. That's your boo-boo. <laughs> Next, we have to clean the wound. All clean. Now let's see if everything works. <laughs> You're all better. Thanks, Dr. Caillou. Is everyone ready for takeoff? Yeah! yeah. Start your engines. Caillou, the police officer. One day, Caillou and Mommy were on their way to play school. And Caillou was helping Mommy drive. That means turn, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. Red light, Mommy. That means stop. Right you are, Caillou. Green means go. The lights aren't on. They must be broken. And those workers are going to fix them. What's the policeman doing? He's showing the cars when to stop and when to go, since the lights can't do it. Now they have to stop. And we can go. Don't you want to play with the others, Caillou? Uh-uh. I'm watching the policeman directing traffic. Oh, I see. I thought policemen just caught bad guys. Oh, no. They help people in lots of other ways. Really? Oh, yes. They make sure that people drive their cars safely so no one gets hurt. They can help drivers who are lost find where they're going. And if any children are lost, they can help them find their way home again. Wow. Caillou decided he'd like to help people, like police officers do. <laughs> this looks like a job for police officer Caillou. Did you lose your mommy and daddy? Well, don't worry. We'll find them. Over here! All in a day's work. 
Officer Caillou. We need you at Main Street and 10th. I'm on my way. Caillou wanted to help people, but he especially wanted to direct traffic. And he knew just what he needed for that. a game before you came along. You know you can only help people when they want some help. And that whistle is very loud. You must be more careful and not blow it in anybody's ear or it could hurt them. Okay. Why are you chasing Leo? He's a bad guy. He just robbed the bank. A bad guy? Well, I'm a policeman. Gotcha. <laughs> Now he's going to put you in jail. Yeah, come on, bank robber. How long do I have to stay in here? A hundred years. <laughs> Children. Okay, you can come out if you promise you won't do it again. I promise. That afternoon, Caillou helped clean up after snack time. Since it's such a nice day, why don't we have story time outside? All right! right. The workers had finished fixing the traffic lights. Caillou wondered where the policeman was. The police officer looked very hot. Caillou thought he might be thirsty. Caillou? Miss Martin, can I give some juice to the policeman? That's a very good idea, Caillou. Go ahead. Hello, would you like some juice? Hello there. Yes, please. It sure is hot out here. Thank you. Why did you give that car a ticket? Because it's not supposed to be here. It's blocking the fire hydrant. And if there was a fire, the firefighters wouldn't be able to hook up their hoses. That's another way you help people. Hmm. Where's your police car? I don't have one. I have this. A bike? You ride a bike just like I do? That's right. Thanks for the drink, uh... My name is Caillou. Well, thank you very much, Caillou. It was very nice to meet you. Now, I think you'd better join your friends. Looks like you're missing out on a story. Oops, I gotta go. Bye! Caillou was glad he'd made a new friend. And he couldn't wait to go home and tell Mommy and Daddy that he had helped a police officer. A helping hand. Caillou, there are people who help us every day, like doctors, police officers, firefighters, and teachers. But you know what? We can also help each other. If someone has a problem and things aren't so grand, just reach out, do the best you can. Give them a helping hand. Just give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. Give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. It's neighbors helping neighbors. A friend helping a friend. You help me. And I'll help you 
then we both win in the end. Just give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. Give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a helping hand. Caillou, I've got to move this box. Can you help me? Sure, Grandpa. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Grandpa's friend. Caillou was waiting for his grandpa to arrive. They were going to the park today. Grandpa! Caillou and Grandpa decided to ride the bus to the park. Don't you have to pay, Grandpa? Nope. I have a bus pass to ride free, just like you. Caillou loved riding the bus. It was so big, and there were new people getting on or off at every stop. Caillou had never seen this park before. He couldn't see any swings or slides. He wondered what they could play in a park like this. Hey, kid. My name's Caillou. <laughs> this is my friend George. He calls me kid because... He's older than I am. I met your grandpa many, many years ago in this very park. He was only about this tall back then. <laughs> Even Rosie's bigger than that. Come on. I just finished setting up. I hope you like riddles, Caillou. What are these for? We're going to play croquet. You and I can be a team. Caillou didn't know how to play croquet, and he was too embarrassed to ask. He felt a little shy around Grandpa's friend, George. Hey, Caillou, do you like riddles? Oh, here we go. What animal can jump higher than a house? Any animal. Houses can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I know a riddle. What kind of fish chases a mouse? A catfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Would you like an apple, Caillou? This is Rexy. He's a dinosaur. Caillou didn't feel so shy after all. He thought Grandpa's friend was a lot like his friends, only older. After lunch, they began their game of croquet. Grandpa showed Caillou what to do. Just aim the mallet and tap the ball. Caillou wondered how far he could hit the ball if he swung really, really hard. Just tap it. We don't want to send it all the way to Timbuktu. I missed. Oh, that's okay. You can do it over. Special beginner's rule. Hmm? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good, Caillou. You're a natural. I think there's something wrong with your ball. I think so, too. Hey, this isn't my ball. It's an apple. <laughs> oh, you're just like your grandpa. He was always playing tricks on me when he was little. Caillou loved the idea that he and grandpa were alike. But he still couldn't imagine Grandpa as a little boy. 
Still, I did tap your ball. My play. <laughs> there it goes, kid. Right into the pond again. <laughs> we lost our bowl. That's okay. We can get it back. Come on. Why did George say it fell in the pond again? He was talking about the first time we ever played croquet together. Boy, that takes me back. It was right here in this park. I must have been about 10 years old and about <laughs> this tall. I knocked my ball too hard and it bounced all the way into the pond. <laughs> Just like our ball, Grandpa. Yep. When I tried to get it back, I lost my balance and fell in the pond. Maybe you wanted to go swimming, but you just didn't know it. <laughs> I never thought of that. Maybe I did. George said Caillou was just like Grandpa. But now Caillou thought Grandpa was just like him, too. Yay! That means we can keep playing. <laughs> That's right, Caillou. We found our ball! The kid didn't fall in again, did he? All you have to do to win is knock the ball through the last hoop and try to hit that wooden pin. Very impressive, Caillou. Are you sure you've never played croquet before? Nope. I won. Oh, that was a close game. I thought for sure you'd beat me, Caillou. I like croquet. It's fun. Soon, it was time to go back home. Caillou goes caroling. Christmas was only a week away, and it was a beautiful snowy day. Caillou loved playing in the snow, especially building snowmen. Look at my snowman, Daddy! Good work, Caillou. Why don't you ask Mommy for a carrot for his nose? Hmm... Mommy, may I have a carrot, please? Are you hungry already? We just had lunch. It's not for me. It's for my snowman. Oh, is he hungry? No, <laughs> it's for his nose. Oh, of course. I'll get one. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, honey, mommy's got a lot of things to do. I can't hold you right now. <laughs> you can come out and make snowmen with me, Rosie. No. Rosie's not in a very good mood because she didn't have her nap. Did you, sweetie? It's okay, Caillou. Why don't you go put the nose on your snowman and then come back inside? But I was going to make more snowmen. A whole snow family. You can make them tomorrow. Grandma and Grandpa are coming over so we can practice before we go caroling tonight. What's caroling? It's when you go visit your friends and sing Christmas carols for them. It's fun. Caillou didn't think caroling sounded like much fun. He'd rather stay home and play in the snow. Hello, Caillou. Oh, hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Someone's lost his nose. Is it yours? <laughs> no. Well, then, it must belong to this fine-looking fellow. A perfect fit. How's my little Rosie today? <laughs> so, what will we be singing today? We three kings? Hark the herald angels? Good King Wenceslas? Caillou wanted to sing with the grown-ups, but he didn't know any of those songs. Let's start with something everybody knows. How about jingle bells? I know that one. We sang it at play school. 
Which reminds me, I brought something along. Here they are. Would you like to play the Jingle Bells, Caillou? And... Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle, jingle all, all the way! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! Oh, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle, bells, jingle, bells, jingle all, all the way! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! <laughs> Caillou decided that going caroling might be fun after all. And he especially liked playing the jingle bells. After dinner, they were ready to go caroling. Rosie, you've got to wear your hat or your head will get cold. You need your mittens too, sweetie. No! We're going caroling, Rosie. It'll be fun. No, Caillou has the bells, honey. Mm. Here, Rosie, you can have them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Caillou. That was a very nice thing to do. Very Christmassy. Their first stop was at Sarah's house, right next door. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what's up?